So this was actually the first day of the 2018 Youth Sailing World Championships on Corpus Christi Bay. Hundreds of competitors set sail off McGee Beach, all in hopes of completing the course with the fastest time. Our Marissa Cummings is out there live to show us some of the preparations involved. Marissa. That's right, Mackenzie. I'm here right across from McGee Beach where sailors have stowed away their sails for the day. But come competition time, they are very diligent about how everything is rigged up. That's because navigating the wind correctly is the name of the game. Sailing's a lot like playing chess. So the wind shifts, and if you if you play the wind shifts correctly, you sail less distance. If you sail less distance, you get to the start the finish line first. And that's what Max Vanderzom wants to do while windsurfing. He says part of his strategy to complete the course well is how he positions himself on the board. Basically, yeah, we stand on this board. The windier it gets, the further back we stand. And we use these foot straps here to basically keep us on the board so we don't fall off. And a lot of it also has to do with the sail setup. We tend to rig the sails a bit more with less power, so you go more for speed. Vanderzom says he rigs his sails that way when it's more windy outside. And sailor Malene Peterson says she has to do the same thing because the winds in Corpus Christi are strong. In general, or in average, I would say that Texas is more windy than what I'm used to in Denmark. On larger sailboats, the strategy for maneuvering the sails for speed is a bit different. To just like go outside and maintain the boat flat. And if you want to maintain the, more, the boat more flatter, you can like ease the, how do you say it? this one and maintain the boat flat. Adrian Elizondo says it's all about keeping the boat smooth sailing. It needs to be mm, like 10, 10 centimeters from the water to n not cause friction. The sailors will be competing all throughout the week and their closing ceremony will be on Friday. Reporting live from the Gee Beach, Marissa Cummings, 3 News. And at least they have plenty of wind out there. Right? Oh my gosh, absolutely. <laughs>